So why can't they skate then? They can skate, but they got football helmets on. But they can't skate, they couldn't even stand. stand. No, he control. couldn't even stand up on the ice. He, he couldn't stand up on the ice. He couldn't stand up on the ice. He fell down on his own skates. He fell down on his own skates. Charlie. I don't know why I enter these giveaways on these auctions sometimes. Sometimes it's stuff I don't even care, but I feel like, you know what, I could give it to somebody. Or some stuff it's like, I already have that. And I'm fairly certain I have this one. I remember the texture. Nobody cares. <laughs> this week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Champions on Ice. I could use a Scott Hamilton backflip right about now, if you know what I mean. I don't know what? <laughs> yes! You know, Hannah, there's going to be a lot of money won and lost tonight. And now that I think about it, I wish I'd have put some money on Scott Hamilton tonight. Two freckled friends. Hold on. Crackhead is outside yelling. Do that. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. If you ever saw Champions on Ice, the touring ice skating show with all of the top elite ice skaters, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckle Friends. This week, we've had so much fun. We love hearing feedback in the comments. A couple of folks had suggested this film and little did they know that they must have called Miss Cleo for their free reading because it was up in the queue. Call me now for your free tarot reading. Brooke, why don't you tell us what we're watching? Today, we are watching the 1992 kids sports classic, The Mighty Ducks. So when this movie came out, me and my brother loved it, right? I haven't watched this movie in probably a solid 30 years. As a child, I knew a fine man when I saw a fine man. And something about Emilio Estevez, I was like, you know what? He's a fine man. He might be short later on, fine. I know I'm 5'2", but I have every rhyme and reason to be choosy. Oh boy. I choose violence. I loved every movie from the whole trilogy. I had them all on VHS and watched them on repeat. It's been a few years though. Student loan debt, work gets in the way. He was a lawyer? An eclectic cast where a handful of people ended up having successful careers. If you're new to our channel, Brooke and I will watch The Mighty Ducks. We will give our own individual thoughts and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. Without further ado, the 1992 live action sports related family classic Walt Disney Pictures presents the Mighty Ducks. Let's roll it! Three, two, one. When I say press play, press play. And the play has to be highlighted in white. Is the play button white? What if I press play three seconds before you do? So you want a head start. With the way my internet works, sure. You tell me hot or cold? What? Hot or cold? Three, two, one. Brooke play. Three, two, one. The queen play. Look how that works. Hey. Are we in sync? I don't even remember what this is about. And I loved ice hockey. I was that weird ass black girl who liked ice hockey. But what was this about? What happens? Name five NHL teams. I didn't say I have to like the hockey league. And they'll drop it on the one. The classes can be taught. Not just letting me down, you're letting your whole team Look down. Look at that comb over. Also, that kid is in one of my all time favorite movies, First Kid, which we will a million percent be watching and reviewing on this channel. Did your best. This man put his neck on the line for your greed. Am I the only one who thought Emilio looked better than Charlie? Nice tie, Frank. 
I'm citing Minneapolis v. Higgins disallowed similar testimony. That was you. I stand corrected, Counselor. Oh, you really stooped to an all-time low on this one, Bombay. I don't mind losing. I would just like to lose fair. You gotta go for the W every uh, time. Do your job, Frankie boy. He looks so little. He looks so young. He looks like he's 24. Today, I'm 30 and 0. 30 and 1. It's Duxworth. He wants to see you. Ha, ha, ha. Quack, 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 quack. Mr. Duxworth. Another fine job today. Just one thing. Score. Spike. Next time, a little restraint might be in order. I'll take that vet, though. I always found it hilarious for people who own sports cars in winter-heavy states. This is not good. Could you turn down the stereo? <laughs> sure. I guess it was a little noisy. A little? Okay. Out of the car now. The charges against Mr. Bombay are driving under the influence and reckless endangerment. I almost stayed home this morning. The city of Minneapolis does not wish to pursue a plea bargain in this case. <laughs> Karma. Gotta go for the W, right, Gordo? Did you think I wouldn't find out, Gordon? I've talked to Judge Weathers. He has agreed to suspend the disposition of your case. Suspension of your driver's license and 500 hours of community service. And a leave of absence from the firm. That was my condition. My work is my life. Community service. This is horrible. In this era of hustle, there's no way someone would say, oh my gosh, I want you to take a leave of absence to stop working because you work too much. He was the man when I was five. He's not so good. What is this man's mustache? In Minnesota! <laughs> Community service. Coaching hockey. It's like half of the heavyweights cast. Yeah. The Take him down, Cappy. Did you get it? Yeah. Right. How do you feel about Joshua Jackson today? Which one is Joshua Jackson? Charlie. He ends up in Dawson's Creek. But remember the stories about him, Sophia Turner, now he's dating Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah! Oh, that That's guy. Justin. Hold on, which one is him? Which one? Move, kid, move. No, I just, oh. I didn't, hold, hold on, go back. A dollar? We got a dollar. We got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's more inside. That's a hell of a prank though. How do you see that from the car? Yeah! Oh, he's so little. Look at his little cheeks. What grown ass man has time to chase these boys? A bandit. <laughs> How can he do this to me? I hate kids. They're barely human. Goldberg, you're the goalie. It's supposed to hit you. Does that sound stupid to anyone else? It's the hockey team. Drive out on the ice. I don't know what you're doing. You obviously in the wrong hood. I used to think he was so cute. He got Sanka's Jamaican bobsled team Rasta hat on. The bosses are the bosses of Jamaica's printer. Respect to the man, her blitzer. But I'm not going home till I take care of business. Whew. District 5 Pee Wee Hockey Team. I'm Gordon Bombay, the new coach. Averman, Dave, Conway, Charlie. I hate hockey and I don't like kids. It was supposed to be a pep talk. <laughs> Bonding experience. One of you will even write a book about it in jail. <laughs> Did somebody said that to my kid. Get out on the ice, let me see what you can do. You really suck. I'll decide who sucks around here. They do suck. They really suck. Yep. Mr. Rebel Rouser, back in the fuck over to Jeffy Rudy. It's the Daddy Rouser. Hi, Coach. I'm Connie. What's our record, anyway? Oh, and nine. One was pretty close, though. We only lost by five. What did your old coach have you do? Women need you yelling at us. Oh, you suck your skate, you little basket. Heart attack. Okay, I gotta make a phone call. Keep scrimmaging. And if you need anything, fax me. <laughs> Jeez, what a jerk. Well, then who's handling my cases? I want a limo with coffee inside. Jane? That's too damn bad! Hold on a second. Get your mouth off the window! Get off the car! Get off the roof, you little monkey! And I, oh. Who'd he call a monkey? He didn't say a direct child's name. Okay. We want a right! We want a right! Hey, hey, we, we want a right! right. Yeah. After watching Ice Road Truckers, you can do it. <laughs> this season on Ice Road Truckers. My mom. She's oh. pissed. Oh. 
Everybody, out of the car. Where's her hat? Did you think it's your mind? What were you thinking putting that car on the ice? How do you think you are? I'm Gordon Bombay. I grew up on the ice. I know when it's safe to drive on. When it comes to my kid, I just know doesn't cut it. Give me my kid! Did you get it? He looks familiar, too. Well, I guess practice is over. Hi, girls. My first game, and it had to be the Hawks. Gordon Bombay. Coach Riley. You got some big ears. Ears or teeth? Girl, I was looking at the ears. You looking at the teeth? I'm um, uh, coaching. Pee Wee, District 5 team. You got a kid on the team or something? I need to be of service to the community. Whoever thought we'd be coaching against each other? The lobe looks larger than the top part of the ear. Who's your hotshot player this year? Banks might go all the way. Not quite as good as you were, but he wants it more. Tell him you're an attorney oh, now and you make more money than him. So he can fuck. Wish they would take that one down, don't you? Good luck. That's all you live for? I wish your dad could be here to see me. Make him proud of you. Win! 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 Is that a roller skating helmet? Yeah, we're fine. Is he a football helmet? They don't have the proper gear? Their jerseys were garbage. Right, but where are the parents? They don't care. Haven't you caught on to the pattern of these movies we watch? All the adults are trash. This is not safe! Go, Terry! And what the hell is this? What's this? The Oreo line? Ooh. Yo, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. Hey, yo, what's up? Y'all got a problem? If you don't take that skate off and smack him in the face, about to be the ketchup lineup in this bitch. That's one. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying See, to See, and this oh, is oh, every I'm time the referee, out. the referee stops the black kid, but the referee couldn't stop the racist white kid. Every time. But see, this is what pisses me off. Doing organized sports, it costs money. Parents know that when they have to pay the enrollment fee. That doesn't include equipment. Why do you have your kids go through this? There's no way this shit will fly today. They're killing us out there. Get your heads up. Get those loose pucks. Just get the hell out of here. So why can't they skate then? They can skate, but they got football helmets on. But they can't skate. Safety. They couldn't even stand. Couldn't no, even he control. couldn't even stand up on the ice. He, he couldn't stand, stand up on the ice. He couldn't stand up on the ice. He fell down on his he own skates. He fell down on his own skates. Oh, Charlie. That's okay, Charlie. Nice fan, Charlie. Keep swinging. Maybe you'll give him a cold. It's not worth winning if you can't win. The jazz music is nice. <laughs> Seventeen. Anybody could pick these pansies. Pansies? All right, nice going, Banks. New Hawks record. Hey, Gordon. Nice game. Yeah, right. shut up. Hey, shut up! You guys stink. I thought we came here to play hockey. You think losing is funny? Well, not at first, but once you get the hang of it. That was the sloppiest playing I've ever seen. Why the hell don't you just listen to me? Why the hell should we? Oh? You wanna lose? Fine. You're the ones who look like idiots out there. Gordon, real talk. You make a lot of money. Hell, you could just take that coat you're wearing and get the kids some gear. <laughs> Five minutes plus the buck each. Angie, look, it's your mom. Oh, that would not fly today. <laughs> Hi, girls. Does your mommy know you have dad? She's busy with the mailman. That'll make great bathroom for you. Hey, hey. <laughs> and you're gonna stand there and watch him get beat up? Yeah, you want some more? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thanks a lot. Bye, man. Two. Three, boom! Okay, Brooke, there you go, learn how to skate. We're gonna cheat, we gotta make those balls look real. Whoa, wait a minute, he's teaching them the flop? It's like when you play basketball, right? You could spot a flopper a mile away. Intercepted, Lillard ships it up, and that is one of the biggest flops you'll ever see. Take the fall, that's hurt! Get indignant! Oh, this is a lawyer for your ass. You guys are ready. Wait, did you see what he just did to me? Don't take the fall while they're shooting at you. That's five. That's the active shot. One more dive, I forfeit to the Jets. I'm insulted by that. Let's go! Let's go! Wait. <laughs> Charlie! That guy 
bag is twice your size. I want you to grab your eye like it's cut. Hit the ice. Got it? Face off. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, this stick is up under his helmet. Damn it, Charlie. We can't even win when we cheat. When I tell you to do something, you do it. You got it? Look at me. You can't make me cheat. Damn straight. This is what I gave up my overtime pay for? To see my kids taking falls? You should have kept your overtime pay to buy the kids some real fucking gear, sir. No disrespect. Oh, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but... Uh, look, if you're a broke boy, just say so. <laughs> Gordon? How did you know? Through the back door at this time of night, just like you used to. You'd spend hours watching me do this. And you wonder why black kids play basketball. It's a ball. You know how many pieces of gear you gotta pay for to play hockey? I saw you at the game the other night. So busy screaming at the kids. I didn't want to spoil the moment. I heard you became a doctor. Lawyer. Oh, that's too bad. I see you still have this up. That was the worst time of my life. My dad died that year. Emilio, I never thought your acting was this bad. He was proud of you. You scored 198 goals in that season, Gordon. You really loved to play. You remember? But you really flew on that ice, Gordon. Riley, I saw what he did to you. Riley is an idiot. Just show them how to play, show them how to have fun. Teach them to fly. Come on, Hans! What's this? Your new skates. That is why you came here tonight, isn't it? Come on, Gordon. Like riding a bike. He thinks what? Twice, three times, two, of course, yes! Great move, Gordy! You look great out there, Gordy. You in the hood? Heard that siren, huh? We all know! Better stop, Ryan! Lady, just wash your hair. Please, just wash out the Aquanet. Hi. Please just go away. Um, I came to apologize to Charlie, both of you. Charlie! What is this mullet shag? It was very wrong of me to ask you and the other guys to cheat. And it took a lot of guts for you to do what you knew was right. I'm... You're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? Hold up. Wait a It'll minute. It'll be a lot more fun this time around. Do you want to stay for dinner? What? What? Cherry. <laughs> Ooh. Charlie? What are you having? Can we cut Charlie's hair? Who's cooking? Why you put it? Chips, Lay's chips, and, 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 and your sink with water? Ooh, please don't put that milk. Please don't put that milk in that. Well, sir, fair play doesn't come cheap. Can't afford rink time, safe equipment, proper uniforms, which makes it difficult for them to compete. Well, I thought maybe the firm could help them out. $15,000. No way. Think of the goodwill. We name the team after the firm. Come on, I'll get you your own jersey. Fifteen thousand and ninety-two. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get some fucking gear. You singing, Brooke, or no? I'm not singing, Five, but I'm six, jamming. Seven, eight. No music. That's Fulton Reed. He's in one of my classes. Some preppy school gave him a scholarship as long as he doesn't play hockey. According to Lombay, Lombay was a hawk. They're pretty good skaters. That's Tommy Duncan. He's in my science class. And that's his sister, Tammy. Just think of it as figure skating. The stick. Pete, Pete. Mommy's gonna like this at all. You want me to figure skate, then you gotta play hockey. Look his little list. Side to side. Shift your weight. Balance, your edges. Ooh, that's like $500 in eggs right now. You don't shoot the puck to your teammate. You sail it to him. You send it. You accept it. Cradle it. Now I'm just wasting breakfast. Not all that money! IHOP has tons of omelets. So you can have omelets for breakfast, brunch, dinner. Good, Averman. Now sail it back. Yo, y'all keep scaring me with that shit. Eggs will eat your paint. Eggs will stain. Oh no. That's $5,000 worth of eggs today! I did it! All right. Oh. My mother would not approve of this, coach. Today you will become a man. I think you got the ceremonies mixed up. It's more like a circumcision. Uh. Coach, come on, throw 
leave me hanging like this? Now you traded in the limo for a 15 passenger van. What happened to your dad? Oh. Mom and I left him. I don't really remember, but that's what she says. You do a good job taking care of your mom. So I'm right in the middle of my cross-examination, and I say to the guy, oh. Whoa! Hey! What? Why? Badass kid. Come back here! Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, it was an accident, all right? Was it? Never mind the window. Where'd you learn to shoot like that? I didn't learn, I just do it. Do it again. <laughs> Did you ever hit the goal? One out of five. Why don't you play for us? I can't. I don't know how to skate. Is that all that's stopping you? Push! Push. Keep your knees bent! No, wait! Oh, the shopping mall! Kicked out. R.I.P. Got your credit cards? Hey! It's Mall Madness! Fail at the shoe store. The new shop till you drop game that really talks. A bank account and your own credit card. Darren at the Sunglass Boutique. Mall Madness, the electronic shopping game that really talks. From Milton Bradley. It's the mall with it all! The ducks? We're being sponsored. We'd rather be District 5, some stupid number. The duck is one of the most noble, agile, and intelligent creatures of the animal kingdom. They don't even have teeth. Neither do hockey players. <laughs> in a flock of ducks flying in perfect formation. Pretty awesome the way they all stick together. Ducks never say die. Oh, oh man. Who's a duck? I'll be a duck. Okay, Fulton. Me too. Oh, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> You're the quarterback. Oh, weird ass team. You ready? I think so. Shoot your heart out. One out of five. 20%. Oh, Lordy. Woo! One out of five. Let's forget the past. Now we're the ducks. Look yeah. at that. See, look. Proper equipment. Sometimes a uniform, you know, puts you in the role. That's all it takes to get that mind shift going. Black. Watch the game, huh? You're being let go, your department's being downsized, you're part of an outplacement. We're going in a different direction, we're not picking up your options. Oh, they scored! Yay! My mouth. Oreo, <laughs> unlock the magic. How many fingers am I holding up? You wouldn't know that anyway. Shut up, Peter. Harp, you okay? <laughs> the carpster. Ooh, lordy. Ooh, the hair, girl. Go wash it out. Okay, Doc, we still got a chance here. Time for the secret weapon. Remember, just like we talked about. Fulton was out there in the streets just whacking at pucks. No father figure, no opportunity. Sometimes it just takes somebody seeing an opportunity in you. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Now, I don't like that sign saying Coon Rapids. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. I chose to ignore it. I chose to bring it up. Tell Sassy. I wanted to know it was me. Guess what, fellow Freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having 
having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. The Ducks have a shot at the playoffs? Sure. Everyone but the last two teams are in. You beat the Huskies and you'll make the playoffs. Or we might have to play the Hawks. Nothing's changed since I played. You wouldn't even be a Hawk now. They redrew the district lines last year. The lake is not the boundary anymore. It'd be a duck. Excuse me, Coach Riley? Yeah. There's a bit of a problem. One of your players is ineligible. Banks! 450 North Hennepin Avenue, is that your address? Yes. This boy is playing for the wrong team. Adam Banks should be playing for District 5. My son would rather not play than play for your team. If Adam plays for the Hawks, he'll have to forfeit every game for the rest of the season. Boy, I'd hate to see that. Bombay, you stop when I'm talking to you, son. Oh? Law's a bitch when it works against you, isn't it, Jack? One kid isn't gonna make a difference. What do you think you're gonna prove, you and that bunch of losers? They are losers. We hate losers, don't we? They don't even deserve to live. I taught you how to skate. I taught you how to score. I taught you how to go for the W. You could have been one of the greats. You're not even a has-been. You're a never was. But you still live in that dream as a coach. That's all you got. You can get the fuck out of my face. Toxic adults fuck with you in your childhood. You carry it with you. Why aren't you guys in uniform? We get worms in half an hour. I got some good news. We're getting a new player, Adam Banks. He's a hawk. He's a good player. Yeah, we don't need him. I'm the coach and I say we do need him. If we make it to the playoffs, he could be a big help. All of a sudden, you don't think we're good enough? He thinks we're losers. That's what he told Riley. He said we were losers. We didn't deserve to live. Oh, well, we couldn't interpret the sarcasm. Yeah. There's a picture of you missing that goal. You're a hawk, weren't you? Guess you guys stick together to the end. <laughs> He's so little. He's like a little munchkin. <laughs> A little munchkin in leather. He's gonna own a Harley in five years, mark my words. How come the black kids gotta go together? You say come on, so I have to go? I don't believe this. Where my water? I'm going up to the bench. Anyone who wants to join me can join me. Spend all this money on gear. Don't worry, it's a write-off. Yeah, go get your future stepdaddy. They're, uh, they don't work themselves into a frenzy. Shit, we forfeit. We forfeit. Ducks forfeit, flames you win. Oh, Mickey's dining car, rest in peace. Peter said you blew a really big game once. It was the last game of the state finals. I get a penalty shot. I triple deke, fake the goalie right out of his pads. Clang. Oh. Hits the post. We lost in overtime. Quarter of an inch, Charlie. But a quarter of an inch the other way, and you would have missed completely. Children, perspective. I never thought of it that way. Can I get a cup of coffee? I love one. What do you think her hourly wage is? During that time? I don't know if waiting tables is still the same when I was waiting tables. Just pretend this is a Waffle House. In tips or just flat? So she needs to get with Gordon Bombay so she can stop working. Yeah, got it. Come my lady, come, come my lady, my butterfly. Talk to Jesse and Terry's dad. He's gonna take over coaching for the rest of the year. I've done all I can. You can't walk out on the ducks. We're your team. Is this kid's hair? Charlie. Charlie was trying to sell his mother catch as a diner waitress. I'm confused with these kids wearing hats in class. Leave me alone, guys. I don't want to talk about the team. Everybody knows he likes you best. His mom, you mean. So take it back now! Yeah. <laughs> She's over there trying to play, so I popped her in the back. She just wants to play. Look at her. She's so in her zone. What have you got to say for yourselves? Thanks for coming by on such short notice, Gordon. Congratulations, your community service is over. So you wanted to talk about my coming back to work then? <laughs> you know Coach Riley and Mr. Banks? Phil is one of my oldest friends. We've talked to the league and we worked out a little deal. You guys cut a deal with the Pee Wee Hockey League? Yes, Gordon, we did. Adam stays on the Hawks for the rest of the season. Next year they redraft the Lions. Uh, the league did make one condition, that you withdraw your protest. I can't withdraw my protest. You wanted me to learn about fair play and how to be part of a team. Team isn't a bunch of kids out to win. Team is something you belong to, something you have to earn. And I'm not gonna let those kids down. Uh, he got a weird head too. Gordon, I'm going to make this simple. Are you prepared to lose your job over some kids, some game? What, really? Are you prepared to fire me over some kids? <laughs> some game? Collect your personal belongings, Gordon. Wow, weren't saying shit when I was 30 and 0. Mock his ass. Thank you very much, Mr. Duxworth. Quack, 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 quack. Mr. Ducksworth. Quack, 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 Gordon, quack. stop. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, you old bitch. You may have paid for this jersey, sir, but you didn't earn it. <laughs> I'll see you in the playoffs. <laughs> That's the only Simpsons reference you know. It's the only one that matters at the end of the day. 
I want to talk to you guys. People. People. Oh, damn. We still having that same yeah. argument oh. now. I want to be your coach again. I want to coach the Ducks. I was being sarcastic. You know what that means? No. I didn't mean those things the way they sounded. Can you forgive me? Can I be your coach again? Look at all the presidents. I was going to say, are those presidents up on the yeah. wall? Yeah. This is before Black one was up there, huh? Damn. We're a team, right? We can play tomorrow night. Still have a shot at the playoffs? I guess it would help if we practice first. Love cleaning the chalkboard. With a big ass sponge or wet rag. Yeah, oh man. You just watch it turn super black after being gray. I love the 90s. VH1 should bring that back. Aw, look who's here. I just wanna play hockey. Good. Aw, good job, kid. On behalf of the Ducks, I'd like to say welcome. Cake eater. Putting on a Ducks jersey doesn't mean you're a real duck. Are you sure this kid didn't play Spike and Lil Jon? No, he did not. I love how you're getting all these white children mixed up. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Spike don't care. Didn't you hear? Spike don't play with And nobody wants to pass to him. Come on, right here! Why is the black kid gotta be better? Everybody, get the puck to Fulton. Take your shot. Coach, one out of one. Soft hands, Fulton. Concentration, not strength. That's why I pulled up, baby! Oh, you took too long. Hey, Mark. It's a little playoffs present. This guy used to rule in Pee Wee's. I'm coaching Pee Wee now, and this is my team, the Ducks. Listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. If you ever want a shot, let me know. I'll get you a tryout with the Meyer League Club. Dang, just a guaranteed tryout. That's the impact Gordon had on him playing as a kid. Joey the positive in the It sounds like Dr. John. I'm looking again. Right here. That little bitty stove. Y'all yeah. got that little bitty stove? Hmm. Maybe I should have cooked. Ah, yeah, about that. Oh, no, no. I just couldn't. Thank you so much. We can all go down to the Winter Festival tonight. You should go with my mom by yourselves. Look how that works. Mmm, smells great. Go for it. Hi. I used to sculpt, but now I do mostly paintings. You mean to tell me all we needed to do to get a successful lawyer who coaches children on the side <laughs> is be a single mother waitress who makes eight dollars an hour with bad hair and don't even cook half the time which window's mine i want to live there too what did i say casey i was just playing around her name's casey i don't even know how i feel about you there's a little kid back home who's absolutely falling in love with his coach if you're just playing around then you better let me know i have to decide on the first date stop it gordon charlie's gonna be there when we get back and tomorrow and 10 years from now her acting bothers me too then why are you going on dates maybe she didn't mean to maybe she just meant to come home from waiting tables and proper feet up i'm glad to be here with you me too you're a lawyer, right? So you're intelligent, supposedly. You have bigger aspirations in life. And something about this woman just makes you interested in her. Whoa, when did the Ducks get hats for the parents? What? The Ducks win it. It's on to the semifinals where the Ducks will face the Cardinals. Adam Banks got them skills. He's got skills. I am really bothered that all of a sudden because they've made the playoffs. They got merch. Because the parents ain't shit. Are they opportunists too. Are they opportunists too. Look at that. Now if that's not a 90s movie poster shot, I don't know what is. Sounds like we're about to hop on a yacht, find a dead body. Which GTA version is this? This is definitely Vice, Vice City. City. <laughs> <laughs> it's the finals. <laughs> he stayed looking at Banks. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Adam's 
daddy. Does he have a duck hat on? That's what I want to know. Look at that. Merch, 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 merch. Don't forget what side you're on. All right, Jesse. Bitch, you couldn't talk about this when we were in the locker room? I'm Why you gotta talk Jesse, about this now? now. Hey, That's not this Jesse. Is the championship. That was yes, Jesse. No, Jesse was. No, that wasn't him. That was the other brother. Foul. Take his ass out. Take his ass out. If anything, Banks has somewhat of an advantage because he knows how, how they, they play. play. Right. Banks, you come in hard. Woo! Oh, he's wearing a hawk's coat. His daddy's wearing a hawk's coat. That rat bastard. He just fell. What, three of y'all there? Three ducks there? Keep your heads up. Play proud. Let's fly! Yeah! Come on, come on! I want you to drop Banks like a bad habit. I want it out of the game. Kill from behind. Stop Banks now. Banks you oh! Adam. Adam, are you okay? What'd you do? My job. Your job. My oh. Number seven, Miguel. Cross checking. Two minutes. Little tinker butt. Did I go in? Yeah, man. Just do me a favor. That's a hell of a concussion. Kick some hawk butt. Yeah. All right. Cake eater. Tell him a job, son. With your hawk's coat on, fraud. Don't worry. We're gonna get that one back. You got something to say to me, Bombay? Eat a dick. I think I wasted all those years worrying about what you thought. Toxic. Big ass ears. You're going down, Riley. You're going down! No life having ass. Where's your wife? You don't even have a wife two there, do you? Off the top two. Because like you sacrificed everything for the bitch. team, little bitch. Time to play smart hockey, duck hockey. Jesse, make sure you give Fulton plenty of time. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, knock that bitch out. Ladies, they don't need our help out there. Ladies? That, that's just disrespectful. Don't care, ladies. You blow this game and nobody makes a team next year. Goldberg, you flopping early, bro. Four to two. Ain't over till it's over. There's a bunch of redheaded people in this movie. Okay, coach, can we not say that out loud? Ducks stick together, right? Yeah! Yeah! Show me the flying V. Hey! Oh, come on, y'all, let's go! Right. Give him what we've been waiting for! Let's do it! Flying V! Flying V! Harry Hall, both the bucket heads of Mr. Jesse. They stay on town for the man who keeps the Good play, team. Good play. Head down, old bastard bitch! 23 seconds left to go in regulation. Big save, Goldberg! Down the middle, he can win the game! Oh, he hooked him! He hooked him! Okay, he's got a penalty shot for the duck. Penalty shot, any one of the ice can take it. What about Charlie? Let's let him finish what he started. You practicing that triple D? Yeah. Then you're all set. You may make it, you may not. Look around. Who would have thought we'd make it this far? Take your best shot. I'm leaving you, Charlie. Win or lose. Thanks, coach.
it publicly on the yes. ice. Charlie got a daddy. Thank you, Hans. I'm proud of you, Gordon. These garbage parents. Where were you six games ago? Have fun up there, coach. I must be crazy. Try out with the miners. I'm gonna be going up against kids half my age. Just have a good tryout, Gordon. One step at a time. See you next season. We got a title to defend. Hey! Sequel time, baby! Let's give it a freckle scar! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give Disney's The Mighty Ducks its official freckle score. I had a great time. The Mighty Ducks still holds up in terms of entertainment. There's something about ensembles. You've got a lot of personalities fighting for your attention. You gotta find somebody in the ensemble you can lean on or root for or back up. The actors did a great job. Job. Emilio isn't very likable <laughs> in this movie. I forgot the single bachelor, big job, six figs, nice car, conditional alcoholic. His ego was justified because his whole environment was based on ego, his life. The parents tolerating the lack of access to equipment pisses me off and the parents having merch pisses me off. <laughs> it, was it, so just, bad. it would not fly today. I'm not sure if this is my favorite version of the Mighty Ducks out of all three. Loving a 90s sports movie era family classic. My freckle score will be 4.5 out of five freckles. A part of me has a feeling either the second or third Mighty Ducks may get a little bit of a higher score, but for this experience, four and a half out of five freckles. I agree with Allie. I remember as a kid liking the second and the third one more. I have no idea why. Again, I don't even remember what the movie, what the series was about, except the kids played <laughs> hockey. I'm still confused how Casey, the mom, managed to land this man with a six figure job, making $8 an hour, working odd hours, not even like a high end restaurant. She's over there serving chili cheese fries while Laverne and Shirley is on. All that I do as a woman, I went to college ridiculously in debt for my amazing college education. I work a job and I stress hard for that job. And I do my best every day to be a better version of myself at my job. I get dressed, I wake up, I smell good, I put my makeup on, and you know what? I can't find no damn Emilio Estevez, all five foot five of them. And she was a single mom who ran out on her child's daddy. She got a man to get on the Greyhound and say he was coming back. <laughs> I just, <laughs> what has changed from 1992 to 2024? That terrible ass hair, she needed to wash her damn hair. <laughs> Nonetheless, the movie was cool. I gave it four freckles out of five. Drop in the comments below your thoughts on the Mighty Ducks and if you agree with our freckle scores. And thank you so very much for tuning into this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. I was trying so hard to hold that laugh in, but you hit me with that man got on a gray out and said he was coming back. I hate you. She's showing up as the bare minimum. Bare and minimum. Winning. Bare minimum. And she's making eight dollars an hour. Like what y'all what y'all doing with eight dollars an hour? It's not even getting a certificate of participation. She just walked on stage and took first prize. That's what I'm saying. That's See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Apartment? This is what I'm talking about. You got your 30 foot woman. 35 cups. 30 pound pizza. Dumb <laughs> but if you wanna travel, your numbers just come up.